Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm in party mode and I'm DIYing details for this special 80th birthday. I'm transforming this old chalkboard beer easel sign into a disco tiled framed floral welcome sign. I love to transform something old or used into something new and different. I'm starting with the first layer of paint. I'm coating the entire easel sign with a light coat of white spray paint. I'm making sure to cover all the red and black paint. I worked hard on this project and it did take me a couple of days to complete. After letting it fully dry, I hand paint it. By painting it by hand, it gives a thicker coating without the drip of spray paint. I did two coats of white matte acrylic paint and covered the entire easel. I find painting to be like therapy. I like that calming feeling I have from brush painting. I make sure to let the easel fully dry before moving on to the next step. I then move on to the wood crate planter. I purchased this long wood crate at Michael's Craft Stores. It was a perfect fit for this project. I paint it white to match the color of the easel. Floral welcome signs are trending and I'm definitely here for them. I wanted to create something that will be easy to transport and not get damaged and at the same time make it easy to personalize for every event. I purchased these hooks at the Dollar Tree and placed it on the easel. It held perfectly. I added floral foam, glued them to the crate, and added artificial flowers and picks. I made the picks using disco balls to match the theme. I purchased disco mirror tiles on Amazon. I adhered the tiles to the frame of the easel. The way they came in sheet form made it easy to cut off any excess tiles that didn't fit. I'm a huge fan of the disco tile trend. Expect more tile crafts in the future. I purchased the artificial flowers at Michael's stores and made the fan from cardstock paper. I take the wood crate and trace the front of the crate on a white poster board that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I bring out my Cricut and design the personalized message I want on the easel and poster board piece. I use my Cricut to cut the vinyl. For this project, I'm using Black Oracle Vinyl and Paper Studio Vinyl. I purchased the Black Oracle Vinyl at Michael's Stores and the Paper Studio Vinyl at Hobby Lobby. I love the holographic look of this vinyl. Depending from which angle you look at the sign, the message can be in pink or in a beautiful turquoise color. I find that both Oracle and Paper Studio work very well for me. If you feel like you're having a hard time with your vinyl, make sure you help your vinyl along when weeding it.
I also use Paper Studio Standard Grip Transfer Tape. I then transfer my vinyl to the poster board piece. I personally like the lightness of the Paper Studio Transfer Tape and how easy that is to transfer onto paper cardstock. I purchased a couple of velcro pieces. I turned over the poster board piece and placed the velcro squares on the corners. I wanted to create an easy piece to remove and personalize each time I used this welcome sign. I placed the poster board piece on the front of the wood crate. I'm feeling good at this point. I'm at the home stretch and it's looking good. I then add the last part to the sign. And there you have it. I created a unique welcome sign that I can personalize every time. The party is over here. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more enchanting crafts and follow me on my Instagram page at Enchanting Crafts by Anna 1 for updates on my shop and my healing journey. Thank you for watching and supporting.